Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I made it successfully to the Philippines. I'm here in Chagao right now. And today I wanna take you with me on my process of how I create new photos. And I set myself a little challenge to create a new photo from start to finish within 60 minutes. So finding the right idea, shooting the photo and editing the photo within 60 minutes. And it's quite a challenge for me as well. But I want to show you how I actually like find the idea, how I create a photo and how I, if it's not a too complex idea, edit the photo. So let's go. So first things first, I need an idea for the photo, a photo concept. Um, I have a really wonderful room here and I have a couple of things which I can maybe use for creating a new photo. I, for example, have a bunch of like white pillows, which I find really interesting and I probably will use them for my photo now. Generally, I would say finding a good photo concept is sometimes the easiest and sometimes the most difficult part. I usually get a lot of my ideas from music or from books, but also like from stories I hear from people around me while traveling, especially finding cool locations while traveling and then getting inspired by the location. Um, I also sometimes have some topics which really are dear to my heart and then I kind of think a lot about it and then an idea pops up. So this is basically how I get my ideas. I would generally recommend people to look at a lot of photos. Um, I will do the same in a second. I will look on Pinterest, go through a bunch of um, photos with pillows and get inspired, um, get some inspiration and some ideas. Um, I never want to copy anybody, but I just really have to get into the mood. And I think it's really important to have like kind of an archive of images in your head, because what happens is that you will not necessarily think of one image you already saw but you have like a surrounding and then like this one image kind of pops up but you can implement it in a very different way um, within the surrounding you are actually at so I really recommend to go to museums um, watch movies look regularly on Pinterest or other like social media platforms for images you really like and then there will be like an archive of images within your head which really help you to actually get a good idea if you need one. Okay, so I used 50 minutes and I came up with an idea. Um, I actually really do like, I just really hope it's working out the way I want it to be as I probably would need a bunch of more cushions. Basically, the idea is that I have a pile of white pillows which are stacked onto each other and on the bottom is a person sleeping. Then in the middle there is a person half standing and lying on the same pile of um, pillows and awake. And then there is like a third person standing um, and is sleeping again, but standing only like with the head like this. So I think the concept is kind of cool. Um, I just really hope that it works out the way I want it to. Um, but yeah, let's go into shooting. So just a little baseline for you, um, I have a Sony Alpha 7 IV, um, I have my remote control which I always use for shooting my self portraits, I have four white cushions which I'm gonna use for the photo and I really honestly have to hurry up because the sun is setting in I think half an hour so I really really need to get the photo done before that so the light is still good and I can shoot. Um, I have a white wall here so I'll probably use it as a background so it's like white on white. Um, yeah and I really hope the concept is working out the way I want it to be because I think it could be really cool.
Okay, so I just finished shooting all of my photos that I need for my photo concept and I did it just in time. As you can see, it's getting quite dark in here now and the sun is setting very early here in the Philippines at this time of year. It's um, not even five, but it's already getting dark and I'm gonna make myself a coffee now and then I'm gonna edit the photo and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I transferred all of the photos now to my hard drive and I'm gonna look through them now and gonna edit them. I have Photoshop, I have the whole um, Creative Cloud. So I'm gonna edit my photos with Photoshop and also I have like my welcome pad with me. It's a welcome pad in a size medium, I think, um, from 2019. And I can use it with this pencil and honestly without that I would not be able to edit my photos because it's much more precise and much more like intuitive to do it with a pencil. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna describe to you what I'm doing here. So basically I shot the three different photos in three different positions and I imported all of them into Photoshop and I stitched them together. I looked that it looks as natural as possible and then I just blended in the cushions from one photo into the other. I really corrected like the um, framing of the image as I wanted to show as less of the bodies as possible and then I just corrected all of the edges as it was kind of hard to select white in front of white. I then made the lips a little more red to have some kind of color pop in the image and then I just made it sure that everything is really clean and I changed the color of the pants and in the end I painted a little with white to make the image look more surreal. So I just finished editing the photo. This is the final result. I personally really like it. It was really cool to really intuitively and quickly create a new photo to get into the flow again and I hope you enjoyed following my process, seeing how I create while being a digital nomad, being on the road, maybe sometimes not having like the best lighting environment or equipment to shoot photos but just really work with whatever i have in my room and next week i will show you a little around for the philippines chagao and what i'm doing here how it is living here i hope you stay tuned and i'll see you next thursday bye